I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who lost it on live TV. I, I, I expose people to magic. I expose them to something they're never otherwise going to see in their boring, normal lives. For this list, we'll be looking at any celebrity who was having a hard time during a live TV appearance. These moments can include outbursts, rants, or anything that can be considered as losing their composure. Did we leave out one of your favorite celebrity freakouts? Let us know in the comment section. Number 10. Crispin Glover Almost Kicks Dave – Late Night with David Letterman During the original run of Letterman's Late Night Show, David Letterman dealt with all sorts of bizarre guests. Few were as memorably over-the-top as actor Crispin Glover, who made an eccentric and inexplicable appearance. Do you do, do, you do a lot of uh, television shows? Oh, yes, now because I've been in movies that are big and uh, I'm, I'm a movie star, so… I've been on talk shows on the Johnny Carson show, yep. and now I'm here. The next several minutes range from performance art to awkward banter that pushes the host to his limits. All of this culminates with the actor's ill-fated attempt to show off his questionable kicking skills. Do you want to arm wrestle? No. I've been taking, you know, I've been taking for I use art mine. I can, I can, I can kick. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to go check on the top ten. No, I... Even Letterman, known for his rebellious comedy and prank was left stunned by the moment. Years later, Glover appeared as a similar-looking character in a film, which only adds to the mystery of this appearance. Let's say we motor on over to the seminar and get you started on the Express to Success. Nope. My mother's not here yet. You need to meet my mother. If there's anything to learn from this on-air meltdown, it's probably best to keep your kicks to yourself. Number 9. Jim Everett Gets His Revenge – Talk 2 Sports talk personality Jim Rome was pushing his luck when he messed with football player Jim Everett. Here comes the blitz. Everett unloads. Trying for Anderson. Got it! That time he beat the rookie Robert Massey, and what a throw by Everett to get it there. The Talk 2 MC referred to Everett as Chris in a lame joke about him being like the female tennis player. Naturally, the quarterback didn't take kindly to the remark and threatened the interviewer to stop. If you guys want to take a station break, you can. But if you call me Chris Everett to my face one more time, I already did you it better, twice. You better, you can call one more time, we better stay, take a station break. When an angry athlete tells you to stop, you should probably listen to them. Unfortunately, Rome doubled down and immediately regretted it. Throwing a table, the moderator was seconds from serious injury before crew members stepped in to break up the scuffle. You, you probably won't say it again. I bet I do. Okay. Chris? The host didn't quite deserve a full beatdown, but he really pushed his luck when he crossed the sportsman. Number 8. Joan Rivers Storms Off – CNN Known as a monumental comedic and television personality, Joan Rivers stopped by CNN for an interview that slowly unraveled. You've got best-selling books, uh, you sell out on stage, uh, even with your fashion critiquing, while it's very mean in some ways, people it's can't not wait mean. to it's hear not what you have mean. to say. Really? It's not, it's not mean. mean? After being questioned about her stance on fashion, the comedian bites back at the supposed negativity of the interview. Initially, it's hard to tell if Rivers was being serious or playing into the questions as a joke. Yeah, and shut no, up. I'm talking. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't want to hear. You're wearing fur. You're I'm, wearing leather shoes. An... Ultimately, the performer storms off the set. If the two had been in the studio together, it might have gone a different way. All things considered, the host stuck to her questioning even as the interviewee went rogue. You are not the one to interview a person who does humor. Sorry. Are we serious? Striking a nerve with the fashion police legend, this appearance made for an entertaining interruption on the cable news program. Number 7. Bobcat Trashes Arsenio's Set – The Arsenio Hall Show In his many TV and film appearances, Bobcat Goldthwaite made a name for himself with his frenzied and erratic comic personality. I always appreciate when my next guest drops by because, uh, gosh, he makes me seem so sane by comparison. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Bobcat. Go sweet. During an appearance on the Arsenio Hall show, the comedian pushed his subversive behavior to the limit. Between spray painting and trashing the set, the rebellious performer stuck it to the establishment that was bringing the show to an end. The terrible injustice is that I have to pretend like I'm mad at him. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't believe what you did. It speaks to Hall's professionalism that he manages to simultaneously restrain and interview his guest. Like it or not, there's a chaos on display here that few talk shows have ever been able to match. Oh, we just want to make sure that whatever John Stewart can't use any of this. <laughs> is that is that who they're gonna like? I don't know. I read that in the trades. Believe it or not, me reading the trades. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just feel like breaking more stuff. No, no, no. Whether you call it genuine protest or performance, Goldthwaite's antics were a complete surprise to everyone watching. Number six. Mariah's New Year's Eve disaster. Mariah Carey New Year's Eve news report. Both talented and unpredictable, Mariah Carey personifies the definition of diva. During her 2017 New Year's Eve performance, the singer flubbed the performance after a series of technical problems. For nearly six whole minutes, an eternity on live TV, a sparkling Mariah Carey stumbled through a three-song set, including some of her most famous multi-octave song. Her running commentary overshadowed the entire set, fanning the flames of an already disastrous appearance. Other performers might have stopped the show, but the pop star chose to carry on with a lackluster sound. Carrie, who was supposed to be the headliner of the night, instead became headline fodder, some even calling her performance a train wreck. Unfazed, she refused to leave the stage until the bitter end. It's unclear what the artist could have done herself to fix the problem, but her reaction definitely did not help. If you can't hear it, how can you sing to it? And then if your microphone is also effed up, you can't here, sing that, and all you can hear is the audience screaming and, and a delayed musical moment. Number five, Nicolas Cage goes nuts. Wogan. On the interview program Wogan, Nicolas Cage walked out with an intensity rarely seen on a regular talk show. Welcome, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Showcasing his acrobatic and fighting skills, the guest also throws cash into the audience before taking his seat. If that wasn't enough, the performer later removes his jacket and shirt. I gotta give you my wild at heart t-shirt. Oh. Hey. I'll just put this, uh, I'll just put this jacket It's a back big on. night for me, I can tell you. Known for his unique dramatic style, there's few people that could pull off such an energetic and uncalled for guest spot quite like Cage. Well, you know, maybe I was a little bit far-fetched. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I guess I had this need, you know, to do kind of crazy things. The movie star might have still been in character as he went completely wild in a captivating moment for live television. With a tendency to play his performances big, the actor's appearance definitely ranks in the more unusual and unprompted celebrity freakouts. Number 4. Charlie Sheen is winning. Good Morning America. From his successful 80s films to his stint on television, Charlie Sheen maintained a successful career despite personal and legal troubles. It's all okay, passion. your passion yes. is coming off as erratic right. to people. Right, well, you borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Yeah, because it just it fires in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe not from this particular uh, terrestrial uh, realm. When his volatile behavior got him removed from Two and a Half Men, the actor entered a downward spiral that resulted in an infamous interview. I'm Some are saying that you're bipolar. Wow, what does that mean? <laughs> I guess that, you know, you're on two ends of the spectrum. Wow, and then what? What's the cure? Medicine? Make me like them? Not gonna happen. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Intended to clear the air, the discussion only made things infinitely worse for the performer. Spouting phrases like winning and tiger blood, Sheen claimed to be in a better spot than he'd ever been before. Because I'm, because I'm me. Because I'm me, I'm different. I just have a different constitution, I have a different brain, I have a different heart, I have a different, you know, I get tiger blood, man. You don't worry that you're gonna die when you take that many drugs? Dying's for fools. It's apparent that the man needed additional help, with his nonsensical ranting going nowhere. While the star later cleaned up, this snapshot captured someone who was in dire need of an intervention. Number 3. Will Smith Slaps Chris Rock, 94th Academy Awards It's the slap no one saw coming, least of all Chris Rock. What seemed like your average Oscar awards ceremony got flipped turned upside down when Rock was on stage to present the award for Best Documentary Feature. As he was presenting, 
He made a questionable joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, who was sporting a shaved head and has been diagnosed with alopecia. That's when Will Smith calmly walked on stage and slapped Rock before returning to his seat. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! It was unclear if this was part of a bit, but that changed when an irate Smith yelled at Rock to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. Not only were the people in attendance shocked, but so was everyone around the world. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Number two, Kanye snubs Taylor. 26th MTV Video Music Awards. Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, never fails to cause controversy, whether he's on a talk show or crashing an award show. His 2009 VMA appearance is the stuff of legend in a moment that even his fans thought was nuts. Thank you so much! I always dreamed about what it would be like to maybe win one of these someday. Storming the stage, Ye took the microphone from Swift and proclaimed Beyonce as the true winner. As the attendees watched in horror, Ye's rant was widely ridiculed and nearly cost him his career. Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time! More than anything, the moment brought the rapper's narcissistic personality to the mainstream. Even the artist's other missteps, including a controversial appearance on Ellen, can't compete with this stratospheric fall from grace. Isn't that so funny? The people point fingers at the people who have influenced us the most? They talk the most about the people who cared the most? I'm sorry, daytime television. I'm sorry for the realness. It's safe to say that this surprise appearance will follow the rapper around for the remainder of his life. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tom Cruise Jumps on Oprah's Couch – The Oprah Winfrey Show Back in 2005, Tom Cruise went on The Oprah Winfrey Show, expecting to promote his latest film, War of the Worlds. Please welcome Tom Cruise! Instead, he was bombarded with personal questions about his recent relationship with Katie Holmes. Revved up by the audience and his new romance, the actor laughed and jumped his way into pop culture history. What has happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> After years of receiving endless tabloid coverage, his infamous leap onto Winfrey's couch didn't do him any favors. Before long, Cruz's ecstatic appearance was the talk of the entertainment industry and soon went viral online. We've never seen you behave this way before. I know. <laughs> Have you ever felt this way before? While it might be tame by today's standards, the couch jump will be remembered as the most unforgettable time a celebrity lost it on live TV. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.